approximately 3.45 this afternoon, officers were dispatched to a shots fired at uh, Christian Fellowship Church. This was the same location where the uh, funeral and memorial service for Amante Harris was being, being held. Um, we had numerous 911 calls coming in. We did have an officer in the area. The officer responded, was given several different directions that the suspect had ran, and he attempted to locate the suspect. Uh, officers and deputies and troopers from uh, obviously the Columbia Police Department, Missouri State Highway Patrol, Boone County Sheriff's Department, and the University Police Department responded to assist us. There was a large crowd obviously present for the memorial service. We have received some information about a possible suspect, but that has not been verified. Currently we are uh, 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 processing the scene and taking witness statements. Uh, during the course of the investigation, no one was hit by any bullets, no one was hurt. Uh, but obviously this is a pretty scary situation for the community. At this point, we do not believe that there is a threat to the community. This was a specific incident for a specific individual. It's kind of what our investigation is leading us to do. So I don't believe that there's a threat to the community, but it will be an ongoing investigation throughout the night. Later on this evening, um, PIO Pitts will have a further follow-up to it to provide you, but it's uh, very much an uh, active scene for us to be investigating, and slowly we're starting to release officers back to service to handle the calls for service that are waiting for our for, uh, for our officers not related to this. Is there any immediate questions that I can answer you, for you? Do you believe this is a targeted event? Well, it's hard to say right now because we, we, we're we getting some suspect information, but a, a, a person has not been identified. So it's hard to sit there and say, but it's not that they're running through a neighborhood randomly shooting at people. They came to this location for, for some specific thing. So we're working on that right now. Did you have officers in the area because you knew the funeral was gonna be here and? Well. Uh, we had officers in the air because we knew this would also be a large gathering. Okay. So this is also going to be a traffic issue for this small neighborhood because it is kind of one way in. So yes, we did. We had a member of the uh, community outreach unit that was here. But the family didn't receive any threats or anything ahead of time that you know of? Not, they, they didn't report to us. No. Okay. Any other questions I can answer so, for you? So you mentioned it was it was targeted. So were the shots actually fired inside the uh, No, the, the, inc the incident happened outside the church. Parking lot? Yeah, it, kind of in the... The, yeah, the parking lot in front sidewalk area. The, no, nothing ever went in the church that we that we no one no one inside the church. So what is, you've been up to the scene. What does yes. the parking lot look like? What is it like shell casing? Yeah, there's just shell casings on the ground. That's it. There's no broken windows, glass, or anything like that. I think there's just cars hit. Not that we know of. It hasn't been reported to us yet because it's up in the front where there was, you know, parking area. Are you just finding shell casings from one weapon or? That's too early to tell on that. Okay. Point. Any other questions for right now? I know he's answered already some of your questions for you. Are, you the, are the witnesses being helpful? Well, there's there are people that are cooperating with the investigation and providing information, yes. 